Okay, folks, so we're on a roll today. Um, the weather outside is pretty nasty, and it's a great day to do videos of tools that suck. So next up on my list of tools that suck is a spray foam cartridge system that I purchased on eBay. You know, I foolishly thought that maybe I could do my whole house with this thing, and maybe I could if I didn't mind ma wasting half the foam, and um, I have arms of Hercules. You know, realistically, the problem is you need to heat the cartridges. Now, some sources will tell you to microwave the cartridges, and I guess that could work, but honestly, there are simpler ways to do it. Go get you a storage tub from Home Depot and a cheap aquarium heater with a thermostat. Set the aquarium heater to 90 degrees. Put the cartridges in and add water. Leave it alone for a little bit of time until the heater quits cycling on and off. That'll warm up the cartridges and what's inside them to the nice 90 degree temperature, at which point it will spray pretty, pretty good. Um, you know, at the end of the day, the reason that this, this application method sucks is that you can't start and stop it and you have, it's very, very difficult to control. Um, you get a lot of overspray and splatter and on top of that, you need a five horsepower air compressor to run the thing. So, um, you know, it will apply foam, but it's a very, very expensive way to apply foam uh, simply because the waste factor is really high because A, you can't control it, and B, once you start, you have to finish the cartridge or it will explode in the gun. Um, and, you know, it's also really difficult to maneuver. So you're looking at, this is the spray foam gun. You connect air here, and then you connect this to the end of the cartridge, so you'd be about out here. And so you've got this thing that's about three and a half feet that you're trying to maneuver. And the company that sells these has some really nice videos on YouTube that make it look like it's a piece of cake. Uh, that guy must have done this quite a bit because I couldn't get anywhere near his results. Um, and, uh, you know, so my recommendation is if you've got a small foam job, go ahead and buy a froth pack. These go by various names. Um, Easy foam, tiger foam, green foam, blah, blah, blah. It's all pretty much the same. It's a pre-expanded product in a, comp in a tank with compressed gas as a propellant. Um, the fish tank heater and water method will heat those as well. Um, heating it is critical to application. So that's the perfect way to do a small system. If you have a large amount of stuff to apply like we do, we have a whole house, then you'll want to check out my next video um, in a couple of weeks on spray foam, which will be a review of the Mix-In Systems Little Pup Foam Sprayer. Um, it is a entry-level DIY uh, foam machine, and it's an actual, you know, it's an actual foam machine, not a cartridge. Um, I suspect there are a couple of places this would work good. I just can't think of what they are off the top of my head. Maybe sealing cracks in a driveway if you had a really big driveway. Um, but uh, for spraying foam, run. Do not walk away from this thing. And I'm gonna cut the video here and then I'll show you some of the spray foam that we applied with this. And you can see for yourself some of the challenges that I had with it. Okay, so here is the foam that I applied with it. And you can see that it's relatively uneven because you cannot control how much foam comes out or where it goes. It's sort of an on-off. And if you watched my review of the Ingersoll sander, you will see that we spent a lot of time cleaning this. What that gun excels at is uh, applying it to a ceiling. And here again, you can see it's very, very poor depth control, which means uneven material application. And, um, you know, I, there's not much that I have that's nice to say about it other than if you want one, I'm going to sell this one on eBay and uh, it's going to be a no reserve auction and we'll see what we get for it. 